Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find rate of interest in compound interest problems. We will be solving two questions in this video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Our first question is, at what rate percent will 2000 rupees amount to rupees 2315.25 in 3 years at compound interest? First of all, we will write what is given in this question. We have been given principal which is 2000 rupees. Also amount is rupees 2315.25. Rate of interest we need to find out and time is 3 years. So we will first write the formula for finding the amount. So amount is equal to principal times 1 plus R which is rate of interest divided by 100 raised to power T. T is the time period, R is the rate of interest, P is the principal amount and A is the amount. Let us now put the values in the formula. So amount is 2315.25 Principal is 2000 rupees times 1 plus Rate of interest we don't know so we will keep it as R and divided by 100 raised to power T. T is 3 years. Now we will take 2000 to the left hand side. So this will be 2315.25 divided by 2000 is equal to here it is getting multiplied with the parenthesis. So this 2000 we are going to move to the left hand side and on the right hand side it will be 1 plus R divided by 100 raised to power 3. So when we will remove the decimal point we will get 231525 divided by 2000 multiply by 100. As we are removing the decimal point we have to divide by 100 because there are two digits after the decimal point. And on the right hand side it will be 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to power 3. Now we will solve this using cancellation. So this is 5 times 2 and 5 times 0 and this gets cancelled to 5 times 4, 5 times 6, 5 times 3, then 5 times 0 and 5 times 5. Again it can be cancelled. So 5 times 4. And this is 5 times 9, 5 times 2, 5 times 6 and 5 times 1. So after cancellation our terms are in the numerator we have 9261 and in the denominator we have 2000 multiplied by 4. On the right hand side 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to power cube or 3. Now 9261 divided by 2000 times 4 will be 8000 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 raised to power 3. To remove this cube we need to take the cube root on both sides. So this will be cube root of 9261 divided by 8000 cube root is equal to cube root of 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to power cube. Cube root and cube root this get cancelled. So on the right hand side we have 1 plus r divided by 100. And on the left hand side we can find using the calculator cube root of 9261 is 21 and cube root of 8000 is 20. Now our variable is r. So we can separate the variable and constant. So we will bring this 1 to the left hand side. So this will be 21 divided by 20 minus 1 is equal to r divided by 100. So 1 can be written as 1 over 1. So we will take the LCM. LCM is 20. This will be 21 minus 20 divided by 20 is equal to r divided by 100. So 21 minus 20 is 1. 
1 divided by 20 is equal to r divided by 100 which gives us 2 r is equal to 100 divided by 20. By cross multiplication we got r as 100 divided by 20 r a comes out to be 5 this gets cancelled so our final answer is rate of interest is 5 percent this is our final answer so this is our first example where we got the rate of interest as 5 percent let us solve one more example so it will be more clear to you the question is at what rate percent Per annum will a sum of rupees 7500 amount to rupees 8424 in 2 years compounded annually. So here too we need to find the rate of compound interest. So our first step is to write what is given in the question. First one is principal. Principal amount is given as 7500. Amount is rupees 8427 time period is given as 2 years and rate of interest is what we need to find out let's write the formula amount is equal to principal times 1 plus rate of interest over 100 raised to power t where t is the time period r is the rate of interest P is principal and A is the amount. Now we will put the given values in the formula. So this is 8427 is equal to 7500 times 1 plus R over 100 raised to power time is 2 years. So let us now bring this 7500 on the left hand side. So this will be 8427 divided by 7500 is equal to 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to power 2. So now on the left hand side let us do the cancellation. 3 is a common factor. So 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15 and 3 times 0 3 times 0. On the numerator it is 3 times 2 is 6 then this will be 24. 3 times 8 then 0 and 9. So left hand side is 2809 divided by 2500 is equal to 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to power 2. Let us take the square root on both the sides to remove this square. So square root of 2809 divided by 2500 is equal to 1 plus r divided by 100 whole square square root. On the right hand side square root of a square is the number itself so this will be 1 plus r over 100 square root of 2500 is 50 and the square root of 2809 is 53 we can find it out using the calculator. Now our variable is r so we will leave r over 100 on the right hand side and we will bring 1 to the left hand side. So this will be 53 divided by 50 minus 1. So we, we can write 1 over 1. Now LCM will be 50. So this is 53 minus 50 is equal to r over 100. So 53 minus 50 is 3 divided by 50 is equal to r over 100 which gives us r as by cross multiplication we get 3 times 100 divided by 50. So this gets cancelled 50 times 1 and 50 times 2. So r comes out to be 6. So our rate of interest is 6%. This is our final answer. This is how we can find the rate of interest in compound interest. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.